Well, here's the thing that you learn when you've been on the road for 10 or 12 years playing 200 dates across the country and being a million miles away from home and living out of a suitcase and literally being on the run 24-7 day after day after day in a different city with 10 people to take care of and two and a half tons of equipment that have to get moved every night. You just learn that chaos is something that you need to embrace. I knew that there was going to be chaos. I mean, it was a remarkable level, actually, this time. was really, It was really chaotic. The lighting crew was loading in, I think, Wednesday night. We're over picking up sound equipment on Thursday morning. I've got kids I'm responsible to get from, to and from school. The band was going to try to get into the room and rehearse Thursday night. God bless the people at the theater. The Maplewood people were incredible. They just said, you know, Make it happen, do what you gotta do, which never happens in a the theater. They're always on you about something. There was construction going on everywhere. We had guys on the ground from here picking up plywood. They were renting carpet. They were spraying some god awful all over the panels that were gonna go up. They were at Home Depot buying who knows how many hundreds of dollars of supplies. By Thursday night, we're I still hadn't even heard any of the music the orchestra was going to play, and so I'm still trying to practice my songs without knowing what they were going to sound like. And the band is loading in, and we're trying to get the recording feed, uh, you know, everything from the live sound into the recording units, and and people are running around. Look, you know, it was just it was mass mayhem. And I think it went on until well into you know midnight or later on Thursday, and by. Friday morning, we're on schedule to meet with the orchestra at nine o'clock sharp. And we had, by union rules, only so many hours we could practice and they gave it their all. And my mind was blown. And then all of a sudden I find out my kids got to go down to the hospital for x-rays. And the house manager is shouting for what's your comp list and I'm like I'll get it to you when I get back from the hospital and off I went and my hairdresser and I went down, took my son to the x-ray at the children's hospital and got him home and I'm talking to his doctor while I'm supposed to be at the theater ironing out some details and all of a sudden you realize oh my god people are going to be coming in the door any minute any minute and I have to be able to shut it all out and do this thing that I love to do. And it's hard to explain what it takes to do that. And sometimes I'm not sure because it just sort of happens.